So, <clears throat> hello guys, once again, good afternoon. I hope you are enjoying your, your day. And uh, this is the time you were expecting so far. You wanted to, uh, to have the tutorial on how to use Trello. So today you're gonna see how to use Trello. So we'll go, we will dive in in an introduction. After that, we we'll see the component of Trello, some of the advantage of Trello, and uh, we'll end this session with a practical example and some question and answer. So we we'll before starting, let me ask you if somebody have used Trello before. Or if somebody has an experience with Trello. Who has the experience in Trello? Or who has used Trello before? Or who has a theoretical knowledge in Trello? Trello. So if somebody does, he can raise his hand and talk. If not, show me just some reaction and I will just continue. Hello guys, can you hear me? Or oh, you can't hear me? Hello? Okay. I think uh, no one wants to talk about uh, his or her experience with Trello. So, okay, Ben Akofi. Yeah, you have the floor. Okay, thank you. So, for me, basically, uh, I've not used it until uh, we started the training and then we were given assignment on the related to remote jobs. Um, so that was the first time I was able to assess it and to be able to um, input uh, data on it. All right. I'm afraid to hear from you. Is there anyone who wants to talk? OK, I consider your silence as a no, and we will continue with uh, the presentation. So. Let us uh, dive in, in our introduction. So, first of all, as you have seen guys yesterday in meeting minutes, sometimes you are you are in a meeting or you are in a brainstorming, and after the brainstorming, uh, we need to report, we need to organize the action and plan during that brainstorming or that meeting. So, the good way to do it is to go for a meeting with a minute what you guys have seen yesterday but what is the tool that we can use and uh, in the professional way in the collaborative productive and organized way and also which will be visual to answer to that question we have trello so trello is basically a visual work management tool that aims to plan, manage tasks professionally and in a collaborative, productive, and organized way. Okay, so this is Trello, but uh, Trello is based on a given methodology which we call Kanban management methodology approach. This approach emphasizes flexibility, collaboration, and continuous improvement. What do we mean by flexibility? We mean here that we can customize your action who will do the action and even the deadline. So it's not something fixed. It's not that when you, you go to Trello and you write something, you, you can't go back, no. You can edit your, what you have uh, written or what you have uh, done in a Trello, okay? This is what we mean by flexibility. Collaboration is, you mean by collaboration, the fact that you can work with your colleague, 
you can delegate some tasks to a colleague, you can assign some tasks to a colleague, or they can assign to you. Maybe your, your manager can assign some time to you. You can share your board, you can share your work with some colleague. This is what we mean by collaboration. And continuous work improvement is your work can grow and Trello can help you grow your work. Okay. Now, moreover, Trello helps us. Yeah, I think there is a hand. Let me see the board. Yeah, Bernard Kofi. I'm listening. Yes. Can you please, uh, uh, is it possible to, to put a slide in the presentation mode? Okay, fine. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay, good. I think it's okay now. So. Very well, yes, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. So, in general, Trello help us to, to track the what, the who, and the when. And as you were seeing yesterday in the tutorial of many minutes, the what is the decision, the action you, during your brainstorming or your meeting that you want to take. The who is the, the one who will take this action, and the when is the, the deadline to complete that action. So uh, Trello help us uh, to track those things, things that during our project management. Furthermore, what we need to know about Trello is the component of Trello. Trello have a three components. We have a board, we have a list, we have a card that we will use to organize the workflow and follow the progress of our workflow, basically. So this is what we can say in general about Trello. Now let's dive in in the component of Trello. We will explain more what we mean by board, list, and card. So what do we mean by a board in a Trello? The board in Trello represents a project or high-level task. For instance, maybe you guys, you, you want to create a new website for your company, your startup, and uh, you want to use a tool to track the evolution, the progress of these projects. So the, the body here will be your task, your project, new, create a new website, for instance. So it is a high level task for your project. And, uh, it is used to organize all the related list called to that make up a project. Each board can be customized with a, a background, labels, and permission. Don't worry about the, the last point. The last point, we're gonna see that in a practical example. So after knowing, after having an idea about the board, what do we mean by list? We mean by list here, a group of tasks or cards. Uh, let me say it, it represents a given stage, a given state of a workflow, such as maybe you have an idea, you can put idea, or you have uh, to do, you list to do, you have a progress, and you have done. So the, maybe the, the, the first stage of your, your project is to do, where you list uh, the tasks you want to perform, you have uh, in progress. This is another stage where you mention the task that is in progress and the done or complete which, which will be uh, where you place the task that you have completed. So this can be moved and re rewarded within a board. As I said, the board is a high level. Within the board, we have a list, you have some lists, and we can drag them from left to right and vice versa. So this is what we, we, we call list in a Trello. After knowing the list as a component, let us see what we mean by Trello card. The Trello card represents a task or item 
of work. Let us say that it is the smallest task we have uh, during our project. Okay, so cards can contain detailed information, including description, checklist, due date, uh, attachment, and comments. So you're gonna see those things in a tutorial very soon. Okay, so it, may, it means that in the code, maybe you say that you want to. Let me give you an example. You want to perform, you want to create a front end for your website. After designing your project as a creating a new website, now in your to do, you, you, you want to create a front end. I mean, the, 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 the user friend for your website. Okay. And now you, after mention that in your list, you can include the description of uh, that task, you can put uh, a checklist. Checklist here means uh, some, some details of the, I mean, maybe you sub, you sub, uh, subdivise uh, that task in uh, some checklist. And when you perform one, you can check, you can check off it. So you measure also some date when you will finish, mm -hmm. let me say deadline, attachment and comment. CAD can be moved from list to, to represent the progress from the workflow. What do we mean by that? Maybe you have finished a task. When you finish a task in, in the to do on no, 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 okay. You start the task, you move that task from to do to in progress. After, com after completing the task, you can drag, remove that task from the in progress and now and put it into done or complete according to the way you will name it so this is what we mean by these bullet points yeah. as uh, we, we we have seen the component of uh, trello let us see some of the advantages of trello we have a visual organization which is uh, which helps us to easily visualize tasks and their progress we can collaborate we can to give us also flexibility and integration. I think the, the three bullet points uh, during the presentation, you can understand them easily. Because first of all, we define Turo as a visual project or management tool, which means that it provides us a visualization. Uh, we, we see that it is a collaboration. It, it provides us a collaboration, which means that we can share with our team member uh, the the work which on we are working on and also we can collaborate with them in real time flexibility we can customize the board this and card to fit any workflow and now the last one we didn't see yet let me explain that which is the integration to help us to have integration to connect it with the other tools like a slack or google drive and more so this in, 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 in basically what we can say about Trello. So uh, you're gonna see the practical example, but before that, if there is any question, uh, guys, raise them, and after that, we'll go and see uh, a practical, we'll do a practical presentation. So I'm listening to you. So is there any question? If yes, just raise your hand and talk. If there's no question, show me some reaction and we'll dive in in the practical example. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Casa, yeah. Okay, thank you, nice presentation. Maybe my concern is uh, just Trello, you, clarify us what it looks like but my question is what is the difference between Trello and Notion maybe is there another similar uh, app like Trello and what it makes different from the other uh, similar apps um, to manage our project or to collaborate our projects okay all right Casa um 
I, I can really answer in detail this question for you because I didn't uh, research about the difference between Choro and Notion, okay? But for what uh, we know is Choro help us to, to collaborate very well uh, within a project where we have a project in front of us so we can collaborate with the team, you can delegate the task, you can assign tasks to your collab with your collaborator and uh, it is as i said it helps you to to include a lot of things you can include uh, some attachment like a uh, pictures uh like a link like uh, uh, you can put some comments also okay and as you said yeah, what is the difference? I can't really say now. Maybe I will research and come back to you. Uh, maybe uh, tomorrow or I don't know. Yeah, maybe tomorrow I can research and tell you the difference if there is any problem. But if you you have experience both of them and maybe you know the difference, you can share with us because here we are we are learning from each other. Okay. Mm. So do you have anything to share with us? Kasa, uh, the question is for you. Uh, yeah, uh, it's clear to me. I think he told me what it makes best from the other application is Trello. It is visible. It has a lot of advantages. Uh, maybe uh, to me the thing that is not clear still is the difference between Notion and that one. Notion already we have opened it. The, we have opened the account last time in week four. The interim, I think, non-technical or interim uh, assignment. So it looks like similar to me. You see, even uh, in Notion yeah. we can uh, manage our project. Even we can collaborate like that ones. So similar uh, platforms. So it makes me similar platform to me. And uh, that's why I asked you. Anyhow, maybe in the future when I am going to start using this Trello, I may identify clearly what's the difference between nation and that one. So. Sure, 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 sure. And also le let me add this. Uh, it's not because you, you, for instance, when you you are you were introduced to LLM, we we give we, we gave you some uh, some example of LLM. We didn't limited ourselves on give one. We show we show you uh, GPT, we show you Gemini, we show mm. you we show you also uh, uh, Copilot and others. So it is the same here. While using them, you will you will you will be more comfortable with one of them, and you will say, okay, this this one is better than the other one. Okay, so okay. yeah, this is what I can say also about that. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any other question? If not, show me some reaction, and we we will do the example. Yeah, I can't wait to show you how Trello, Trello is uh, is uh, easy to use and beautiful to use. It make it makes life life easy. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go. So, um, I see you guys can see my screen. Let's Okay, good. So uh, first of all, um, when you guys go to, let me um, go to Trello. Okay, when you go directly to Trello, this day, because I have already 
sign up and log in, I can see this interface. While well, you guys, first of all, it may ask you to, to sign up. And you need to sign up with using the free, the free uh, version and uh, check your email to make sure that you, you have received uh, the, the notification and then you confirm your, the creation of your nation. When you do that, you can log in now and have this interface. And now, when you have this in interface, a boot here most popular template. You can choose some templates to use, or you can create from scratch your project management. You're gonna see how you can create from scratch our project management. Okay. So, what will you do? You will click on create. Okay, so we create a board. And to create the board, we can put yes, somebody has read the hand. Yeah, you have the floor, just five. Just five. You raise your hand, or it was just a mistake. I think it's just a mistake, so let me continue. So here, this is the, the board title. Uh, according to you, you will write your title here and select your background, the background, okay? You can use this one or this one or this one, the way you, you feel like. And uh, here, this is the, the visibility. Do you want to make it private? Do you want to make it public? For private, only members can see and edit this board. For public, anyone on the internet can see this board. Only board members can edit it. Okay. So according to you, you will use the one you prefer. Okay. Let me say private here and put here uh, a new website. And my background, I will choose this one as a background. And then I will create my board. Okay. So wait a minute. And then yeah. So here we are. Normally, you should make it blank. I don't know why we. Okay, let me start. Okay, let me see. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, it replaced what I did before. So, uh, I wanted to create a blank, a, create a new. Okay, let, let me do that. Let me do that. A new website. New website two. I will put two here. Uh, let me click here, private. I will choose the, the yellow one. Uh, uh, maybe the blue, the blue background. And then I will create it. Yeah, so this is what it should look like when you create from scratch. First of all, your first board, okay? This is our board. And as uh, I told you, uh, Trello is a flexible. So even at that stage, we can customize uh, the name of our projects, okay? So uh, I can put a capital N here, and uh, I can put a half uh, underscore there. To customize uh, my project like that, the name of the board. Okay, so now after creating the the board, we need to create a, first of all a secondly our list. So what you need to do is just to click on the the button here 
add a list and then it show you to create a list so here you can put to do the second list in progress as i explained to you a, a a list is just a stage a stage of your progress of your project okay or uh, it is a, a state wherever you you i don't know i just want to keep I, I just want you to keep in mind that it is a stage or uh, a state where your task will go through from the beginning to the end so we have to do we have in progress we can we have also uh completed or done i will put it down here okay so these are the the list we have created and now uh oh, five, no so like uh, uh in the chat so like a Kanban board yeah uh yeah Trello use Kanban methodology yes so good we continue with uh, our particular example so after creating the list the last thing that remains is the code. We need to create our task. So um, if you want, you can, we can also put, you can create idea. Yeah, I, 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 I like that one, idea. And, uh, oh, I didn't, yeah, idea, add this. So I will drag it to the, at the beginning, idea. So. So from here, uh, maybe we have um, okay. I need to create the function. Function. Backend. So the logo. Yeah. For me, Yale, you have the floor. Yes. So yes. So I just wanted to confirm if it's the enter keyboard. Um, if it's the enter key, you you're pressing to to automatically add them to the list because I can't find any button there. Is it the key? Is it the enter key you're pressing on the keyboard to automatically add no. them? No. You just click. Uh, you just click. Uh, the left click. You just click on the the button. And just uh, it create that for you. Okay. It's not enter. You just click on that. Okay. Yeah. Try Thank it you. and confirm. You're welcome. Try it and confirm. Are you are, are you trying to find now or? To just oh oh, I can that? try it right now. I'm not with my um laptop right now, but okay. Obviously, I'll okay. try it later. Thank you. You're welcome. If you face any problem, you can reach me out, okay? Okay. Uh, let's continue. So those are the idea. You can put here any idea you want, okay? Now, um, now to do, there's no big difference between ideas and to do, okay? Because sometimes you can have some idea that you don't want to do. When the idea came to your mind, you put it here, okay? You put it here, you put it here. So uh, let me let, let me recreate them here. So we want to create a, a front end. We want to create a back end. And here you want to create also I uh, want to create a logo. We want to also to make sure that uh, our startup we have a pattern, so um, create uh, maybe a, a pattern, a pattern. Okay, something like that. Okay, so this is the way we create a card. So we have here four cards. Now, uh, after creating our card, 
what can we do? Uh, we click on the card, okay? When we click on the card, uh, we, uh, this window is open to us, and now we can describe what we mean by create a front end. So um, I, I can describe this and say a front end is a, is a, a user um, is a friend, uh, platform or uh, Okay, just uh, something just I put here uh, to describe basically what I mean by uh, front end. Okay, so in your case, based on the project you have and based on the the uh, the card you have in front of you, you give a description for your card and you save it. Okay, after save it, if for instance you have a, a member. Okay, you have a member with your whom you want to share that you want to collaborate with that project. Uh, here you, you click here and you mention you mention you search here the, the name of that one. Uh, I will put here uh, no, okay. Yeah, I think that that's wrong. Okay, yeah. This one is my second email that I am using with Churro. So let me no, notify this before inviting inviting somebody to collaborate with you in Churro. That person also should sign up in Churro. It means that the person will be also a user of a Churro. Otherwise, you cannot invite the person. Okay. So I invite um, myself. I mean, my second email to collaborate in this project with me okay is what i did now so you have also label here the label will help you to let me uh, let me say to have a given name for your task so sometimes you can use that to group your task you can use that also to to mention the uh the level the importance of your task okay so here i can i can use red like as a urgent as a urgent okay and then i will create a dot why the color is changed no it should be red i think And then I create that one. Oh, this one I can I will remove this one. Okay. Now I can label this one also with a uh, uh, green by putting import important. Um, oh, sorry. I can create this one as important. Let me remove this one. I don't know why it was doing that. So you see, you label your project as important and urgent. It depends on the the way. Uh, you want to label your your project and uh, not not your project your task your card 
uh, you will do you will do that now um the checklist let us see what we we meant by checklist with a checklist you can split say your task in some small task so for first of all let me let us put here um the name of the of the checklist and i say content okay i put content the full content and now you you speed that you can say um um you can put it here it is a a simple market mm. uh, a simple a simple page those are just an example i'm giving okay um you can see also uh So you see, those are the subtasks to complete to complete the the front end. So when you 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 complete the first one, for instance, you click on that, you check off. When you you do the second, you check off. The last one, you check off, and then you be in green to show you that you have completed that task. You see, so maybe you. Uh, you are with uh, the 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 first one, okay? You are, you have finished with the, the first one, and you put it like that so that your collaborator can know where you are, what you have done, and how it is the progress of the the task. So after seeing that, what can we do again? We can set a deadline for our pro uh, for our task. Maybe uh, we want to finish that task the tenth of uh, september 2024 so i click on this one here when i click on this one you can see here due date for the due date we have uh, somebody have opened this net before at this time can you mute yourself okay thank you good so here we have the due date, which means the deadline. Uh, you can put the the time you want to end, you want to set the deadline to also, and set due date remind, reminder. So I want by default it is one. The one day by default you can customize that one also, the way you want. If it is two days before, if it is a, a five minutes before the deadline. May I put two days before the line line. So I save it. And when we save it automatically, normally, uh, here, it puts due date. Okay. So we can come later when the deadline is over. We can pull, we can check off it. If it's not, sorry, if it's not, okay, you leave it like that. It's based on you. Okay. After seeing the, the deadline okay we can see the attachment okay the attachment here uh the attachment is where you you can share with your colleague maybe uh the step some link some li uh, link okay or some images whatever you want to share with them uh some files whatever you want to you to share with them so that they can complete that can help them to complete the task. Maybe you can uh, take past link. Uh, so let us say that you guys will want, I, will, I will just research something quickly, and you you're gonna do that. Uh, let let me put that link for instance. Okay. Uh, 
maybe how to how to create a front end. Um, this is a video on YouTube. So here, I'm gonna copy the link, okay? And I'll come back to my tutorial, and I'll put the link here. I put the link here, I will say, um, how, to, how to create a front end, all right? So I insert that, and I click on insert. And normally, you're gonna see that here. It didn't show. Um, okay, let. Okay. <laughs> so it was delayed. So you see the attachment is displayed now here. We have the link. You have you have how to create a, a front end. So basically, you can. It is a good a good tool to use and collaborate on big project. So even if the person, maybe you are a project manager and uh, maybe you are maybe expert in your division and you, you, you have some subordinate to whom you want to delegate some tasks, but you want them to have some useful link, you put the link here for them. They will come just and click on that. If they click on that, then it will direct them. They will see how to do things. And then they will come back. And then they will come back and do their task. At the same time, you can attach some file from your lab, from your computer directly. Okay. So this is how you use the attachment. When it comes to the cover, the, the cover, the cover will really just help you to choose a, um, a, a color or an image for your for your task, basically. So if you use uh, uh, this, uh, this one and you apply it, you see it will show here. It will show here. It will show here. And if I, I click on that, you see? At the same time, you can use a, a, an image, OK? Maybe if you want to do that quickly, you can go on the internet as we did earlier and you research. Okay. Content image. Simple. Okay. Um, content image. Something like that. You click on this. You save it. Um, is it really slow? Okay, you save it. I will say, uh, content, content. Okay, good. Now we come back to our trailer. Come back to our trailer, and uh, um, I want to remove this one. Oh, sorry. I need to go first of all in the cover. What is the cover now? Check this in the cover. What is the cover? I think it's on the yellow, um, the yellow, whatever. There's a cover icon there. There's a cover. Oh, there. thank I think you. That should be it, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, here's the cover. And uh, we can remove this one, we remove it, the yellow one, and we can upload the one we want. So we say we want to put the, uh, in order to use something as it. Ah, in, uh, maybe it doesn't support this uh, uh, format, AV. So uh, whatever you will use, it will show. I can show you an example here because if you, uh, I want to necessarily do that, it will take a lot of time here as you can see here 
I use this another pro, uh, another project I was doing. So when you click on the the card, you can see here in the cover. The cover is an image, okay, that uh, I touch myself. So this is the way you do that simple. I wanted to to use this this one to do the tutorial, but it is something I have done already. So this one is more related to the the week challenge. It will be nicer, but and I need to do things from scratch. That's why I start with uh, this new one. Okay. Now after done with the uh, the cover, I think is uh, the most things we use. Okay. Now, uh, something you can do is you can create an activity. Okay, you can create an activity, and you can you can say uh, right here. You can target uh, Rudolph, the collaborator, and say, "Yeah, please." Um, please watch the 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 touch the touch link and and see how 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 to build a content. It's just something like that, okay. To do that uh, simple. So basically, these those are the functionality uh, you can use with Churro. Okay. When you finish that, you close the window, and you close the window, and uh, see you can because you have started working on this uh, task, you move that task from to do to in progress. And you put it here. Uh, you, can, you can create another task. Uh, yeah, you, you have already created another card here. Uh, you can use. I want to use the the label. I want to make it important also. The backend. Uh huh. Uh, I want to make it. I will put the deadline. I will put the deadline. I will say the deadline is uh, in. 17th of September, I put it here. It's not urgent. You, you see how some time to do that. Um, after that, uh, you can you can use some check checklist the way you want. But what I want to show you, uh, I think it's sufficient for me. I, um, Maybe we didn't yet start this task. It is here. I will show you something. The you can you can search uh, or you can filter some of the tasks based on the label. So you click on filter here. When you click on filter, when you type, for instance, um, important, you will see. You click on important. You see. To task, you see that in the to do, the the other card disappear. It just returns to us create backend and create frontend. Okay, if you want to remove your 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 filter, you just click click on clear all. Now, if you come back, we let us research the tasks that are urgent for us. I will put urgent. And then you will see only this one, only the create front end is urgent for us. We don't have backends as an urgent for us for the time being. So this is the way Toro work, works. And uh, yeah, after that, let us, uh, let us make sure that you have done uh, this time. Maybe you have created a logo, uh, the deadline was set and uh, uh, it is completed, okay. 
uh, you put it like that. Okay, this task, for instance, we can drag it. I mean, maybe at the beginning it was here, okay, in progress, and you have done it, you put it here. So it is done. So this is the way basically you work on your uh, you, you use a tool to work on your projects. Okay. So let me see if there is a, any other question. Um, so far, is there any question? Yeah. Uh, some someone has raised his hand and the hands has been has disappeared so i don't know okay good so thank you guys if there is no question you can wrap up the session and uh, i hope you have enjoyed that session yeah therapy okay thank you uh Rudolf. Uh, uh actually Hello. i have joined this uh, uh session uh before 20 minutes almost I joined at half of uh, the tutorial. So can you please uh, upload these recordings as soon as possible? Because this is the most important part for our task. So uh, especially for those who are late like me. Actually, I was struggling to join this meeting, but because of the system, I couldn't do it. And by the way, thank you for uh, Ekram. She supported me by sharing the link, and then I could join you. So please, as soon as possible, just upload the recordings. Thank you. You're welcome, Terefe, for sure. So we try our best to upload the video as soon as possible so that you guys can use it and do your work. I know it is very important. This tool is very important for this week challenge, I know. So we do our best to upload it as soon as possible. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, me, Ale. You have any question? Blessing, Bernard, Casa? Okay. I guess your silence means there's no question. Everything has been understood. So thank you guys and uh, see you later. And I wish you all the best to complete the week challenge. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wish you the same. Thank you too, you're welcome.